Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the Venice Film Festival and my most anticipated films from the festival. I'm so excited, cannot wait, I wish I was attending but maybe one day. So we're gonna get into my top 10 most anticipated films of Venice 2021. So there's a lot of films that I'm really, really excited about. So first, number 10 is The Card Counter, which is directed by Paul Schrader. So the reason this is on my list is mainly because of Oscar Isaac. I'm a big fan of his and so I'm just excited to see him in this film. My number 9 is Halloween Kills, directed by David Gordon Green and I cannot wait for the new Halloween. I did a trailer reaction, I will link it down below, but yeah, I'm so excited, cannot wait. My number eight is Power of the Dog, directed by Jane Campion. I still have to actually catch up on Jane Campion's work, but I've always wanted to watch her films, and with this film, it has such an exciting cast, it has Kirsten Dunst, Jesse Plemons and also Benedict Cumberbatch. It seems like it will definitely be a contender for Best Picture, so I'm really excited. And number seven is Parallel Mothers, directed by Pedro Almodovar. I'm a big Pedro fan. I love Pain and Glory. I love All About My Mother. I love the skin I live in. I still have to keep going and watch more of his filmography but pretty much everything I've seen from him I've loved so I'm very excited for this and this also stars Penelope Cruz who he's worked with very often. My number six is Spencer directed by Pablo Lorraine and this stars Kristen Stewart and it is a biopic of Princess Diana but set over three days so this is really interesting it's sort of similar structure to pablo R lorraine's previous film jackie which is one of my all-time favorite films ever and it has one of my all-time favorite performances in natalie portman and so i feel like pablo lorraine kristen stewart johnny greenwood's doing the score it's just going to be excellent and i cannot wait my number five is the last duel directed by ridley scott and for a long time i wasn't really interested in this film when you read the synopsis it is sort of like a weird plot so essentially these two men have to like fight over this one woman because she accuses the one of having raped or sexually assaulted her and her husband has to fight for her honor and so that's pretty weird but from the trailer and what i saw i was actually really surprised it looked really good to me definitely down my street of like this great epic and it seems like the film is going to focus a lot more on jodie coma's character and that's what I was kind of concerned about. I kind of felt like she was going to be just like in the background and it was just going to be about these two men but it seems like she's going to have more of a pivotal role and she looks like she is giving the performance of her life so I cannot wait to see that film and she is probably going to be nominated for an Oscar so here's hoping. My number four is The Lost Daughter directed by Maggie Gyllenhaal and I've been so excited for this film ever since it was announced. It has such a great cast. Obviously, one of my favorite people, Dakota Johnson, is in this, and Olivia Coleman is the star, and it also stars Jesse Buckley. Just like a great, great cast. It is based on a book, which I have not read, but it is supposedly about a woman who goes on holiday in Greece and then becomes obsessed with this other young mother. So it's Olivia Coleman and then she becomes obsessed with I think Dakota Johnson's character and so that's gonna be really interesting. I cannot wait. Already the first 
few images just look really amazing and I'm so excited for Maggie Gyllenhaal. It supposedly might have screened at Cannes but I think she was still like finishing it so I'm excited for it to have like this big Venice premiere. My number three is Dune directed by Denis Villeneuve and I've been excited for this for a very long time. I'm a big 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 Denis Villeneuve fan. I love like everything he's done basically. I think there's maybe like one film of his I've not seen yet but I'm obsessed with pretty much almost everything that he's done and Dune is no different. It looks incredible. It's this huge epic with this great big scope but it still feels really grounded in Denis Villeneuve like sensibility. And of course the cast is just insane and I'm just so excited to see it. My number two is a film that I've been excited for a while now and it is Mona Lisa and the Blood Moon directed by Anna Lily Amirpour and she's actually one of the people that I talked about in my video on the top female horror directors so I'll also link that. But yeah, this stars Kate Hudson and Jung Young Seo from Burning. So I'm just so, so excited. Cannot wait. And yeah, it should just be like really strange and weird and still keep all of that, all of the elements of an Anna Lily Amirpour film. My number one film, you probably might have guessed this if you've seen the Venice list, but it is The Last Night in Soho, directed by Edgar Wright, and I'm a huge Edgar Wright fan. I love everything he's ever done, basically, and I'm a huge Anya Taylor-Joy fan, a huge Thomas and McKinsey fan, so everything about this film and just like the genre and the horror elements and the giallo aesthetic and I talked more about this film in a previous video, so I'll also link that. But yeah, it is one of my most anticipated films of the year. And certainly my most anticipated film playing at Venice. So yeah, that was my top 10. Let me know your most anticipated films in the comments. And subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. Bye.